The attack on this six-year-old Palestinian boy by a Jewish settler left him bloodied, bruised, and frightened. It happened in the West Bank city of Hebron on Saturday. Witnesses say Bilal Dana was sitting near a store when a young settler approached and started throwing stones. We were in front of my grandfather's shop when all of a sudden the settler came and attacked us. They held a brick in their hands and hit it straight in his head. Israeli officials say the injuries suffered by Dana were the result of mutual stone throwing between Palestinian and Jewish kids. But the boy's family insists it was an unprovoked attack by a gang of settlers. They attacked us with no apparent reason. They were a lot of kids, adult and young ones. Meanwhile, thousands of people gathered in Tel Aviv on Saturday at the square where an Israeli extremist shot and killed Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin 13 years ago. They were there to honor Rabin's legacy and commitment to peace. Israeli Defense Minister Ehud Barak called right-wing extremists the biggest threat to democracy and peace. We used to call them weeds. Today, they are no less than cancerous growths. And President Shimon Peres urged the crowd, estimated at more than 100,000 people, to continue the work started by Rabin. His way is our way, and in his unity we find our hope. In peace we see our future. Peace is closer than we think, and we should make every effort in his memory to complete it. But back in the West Bank, that kind of peace remains a long way off for Dana and his family. Todd Bear, Al Jazeera.